Okay, so now we're going to do exactly what you would think we would do after we've built up our repertoire for proton NMR. Uh, we are going to distinguish between compounds, of course, right? So let's consider these three compounds uh, below. These are all xylenes. Uh, in your lab, you'll be talking about paraxylene, right? Can you see a methyl group across from a methyl group and these are on a benzene ring, right? Well, here the methyl group is not across from the methyl group. They're, they're, said to be with, they're said to be meta with respect to each other, and these are ortho with respect to each other, right? So you've got, you've got uh, para-xylene, meta-xylene, and ortho-xylene. And it turns out that if we use NMR to analyze these, that they're going to be very different, right? Because very easily we can distinguish between them because... If you look here, we've got, let's go here, you see the blues have are similar, right? That's going to be one kind of hydrogen because they're right next to a methyl group. The, uh, the um, oranges are similar, right? So that's another, that's another group. There's one group, here's another group, and here's another group, right? So there's six hydrogens here, there's two hydrogens here, and two hydrogens here, right? So you have three signals. Here you're going to have four signals, right? Because here's one. That's one signal, right? And there are six there. Here's another signal, and there's one. Here's another signal, and there's two, right? I need to spell two. And here's another signal that's only one. Can you see how there are four different kinds of hydrogens on metaxylene? And on paraxylene, there's only two, right? Because look at these guys are right here, right? And these four are all the same, right? So there's four in that and six in this. So let me get rid of those so you can look at those xylene molecules again. But the point here is, and hopefully it's uh, easy to see, that there are very different, just, just figuring out what kinds of hydrogens you have in a molecule may uh, be enough to distinguish between uh, different molecules. This is going to be easily done with these islands, not with everything, but with lots of things. So watch out for that. It's going to be a valuable lesson or a valuable use of proton NMR, and you can bet you're going to see that in your studies.